Look out, baby! I messed up again today. How so? Oh, just the usual. Me being a big clumsy oaf. What's a kid gonna think of me, huh? <sighs> I wish I were wise like you. Oh, Earth Guardian. You don't need to be wise. Huh? With wisdom comes fear and hesitation. What you have instead is courage. If I were brave like you, perhaps I could leave this place to find the child and help them grow. That's not a bravery thing. You're just stuck here. You're the forest master. You know what happens to this place if you leave. <laughs> Point taken. Oh, all the more reason I need your help. Tell me the story again. Uh, about how you're always looking for the kid. I like the part where we're always born with them and reborn with them. Um, are you awake? Hey, hey, wake up! We've got the right kid! I'm like 99% sure! Their name's Lynn! Maybe this time we can make it work! I got so nervous I almost slipped up and told them my name! That's the rule, yeah? Until the forest child calls our names, we can't say them ourselves. Or else, they might not truly become the forest child at all. I think I said that right. Still sleepy? Uh oh. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no! It's gonna be okay! I'm gonna bring the forest child! If they really are the forest child. But I'm pretty sure they are! It'd be great.
if we could all call each other by our names again. Flustered sometimes. You might have seen me before a bunch of times. See, um, we need you to wake up the forest master. You're the only one who can do that now. We really, really need you. The Force has a master? Well, that's what we call her. She's my friend. Everybody's friend. Huh. I hope she's okay, but... I've never actually been to the Force at all. Did you... maybe have me confused with somebody else? Oh no! The Force Master wouldn't be wrong about that. She's been around for you longer than I have. Like, since before you were born, even. That long? How? But he's been around since I was little. I know that much. Like a guardian angel, almost. Well, maybe I could try to help you. But the forest is really dark and dangerous, isn't it? Hmm... Oh, I know! Huh? dark from out there, but... Yeah! Amazing, right? Wait until we get to the spring! It's gonna be super bright! Oh, these flowers are pretty. But they look withered. They are pretty, aren't they? They only bloom right around here. And they weren't always withered. Really? Yeah. 
See, the Forest Master's power needs to flow like water, or else it gets so. Uh, what's the word? Uh, oh, oh, stagnant. And you know who keeps that power going round and round? The Forest Child. Uh, and the Forest Child is. It's you. You have the power to do that. Um. Do what exactly? I don't really know what the forest master probably does. She's wise and everything. Let's wake her up and ask her. <laughs> I guess we're both kind of fumbling through this, aren't we? Okay, sure. Why not? Let's. Turns out, I'm not the forest child. I mean, as far as I know, I'm just me. Uh, I don't know. I guess it'd be kind of disappointing. It wouldn't be your problem, just ours. But, uh, uh, I'll tell you what. If we find out you're not the forest child, at least we both made a new friend. You know? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you're a smart bear. <laughs> you think so? We're almost there! You holding up okay? Yeah, I'm good! <laughs> Don't worry, this place doesn't scare me at all anymore! You know... <laughs> ah, I'm big! I love being big!
Master? Forest Master, hi. Pam said you might need some help. You remembered a spirit guide's name. I'm proud of you, child. Come closer. Let me see your face.
you if I can. What do you need? You'll be making quite a commitment. First, let me grant you a gift. Would you close your eyes, please? Oh, like this? There you are. That emblem represents the forest's life force. The breath of the forest, some call it. May it light your way. Wow, oh, that's so pretty. Thank you. Don't mention it. You have an arduous journey ahead, discovering the names of the other spirit guides. But worry not. Just as you remember them, they'll remember you. So, discovering their names, is that some kind of test? Think of this as a rite of passage. It's one of the forest traditions, going back a long, long way. I guess there's no way this was going to be easy. And if I remember the names, if I call them out, what happens? It'll manifest their powers. When that comes to pass, my own power will awaken and circulate as it should. <sighs> awaken? What if I can't remember the names, though? What'll happen then? Concern yourself with what is, not with what if. I'll find the names. Wait for me. A word of advice to point the way. Your second spirit guide is the Sky Guardian. The Sky Guardian?
never knew the horizon could be so far. Pretty, right? Uh, watch out for the edge, though. And here we are! The closest tree to the sky in the whole forest! Wow, that's really tall. How do we... Here, you hold on to my back, and I'll run right up it! Haven't you hurt yourself enough? Whoa! Hey! Aww. Cute? That's an odd way to say majestic. So, you want to climb the tree, huh? I can take you up. A kid in a cub? No problem. What do you say? You need a lift? Uh... We're good. Thanks, though. Hey, don't give me that look. What, you don't believe me? You know me. I mean, you sh Settle down. You're making this harder. <laughs> Sorry, Penny. I said I could handle you both. I didn't say you'd be comfy. But it's all right. We'll get back up there. Nobody flies faster or higher than me. This cliff is nothing.
please, child, help us. I don't know. This sounds like a big commitment. Why don't you go find somebody else? No! It has to be you! It has to be the forest child! The forest master needs you! What a waste of time. Forest Master, wake up. I brought the child you've been looking for. You can wake her up, can't you? You've got to remember how. You've got to remember something. My name, at least. Names, names, names. What's so important about your name anyway? And if it is that important, why don't you just tell me what it is? Tch, whatever. No, listen, I can't tell you. It's against the rules of the forest. If I give up my name, my power might never come back. Your power might never come back. You might not even get reborn again. So come on, please. You've got to try. That's enough, Pan. We've got to face the facts here. The forest child's gone. For good. So small. Is she okay? She will be. We'll take care of her. We'll need to find the last spirit guide first. Do we know where to start looking? I might. 
Follow me. His name is, though. Well, um... Maybe I can give you a, a hint. It starts with a P. But... Obviously. And it's, it's, uh, not paper. It's not popcorn. It's not passion fruit. You pay on. Peon? Like a peasant? Not peon, peon. From the myths about the god's doctor. Someone to care for the forest. How do you like it? I like it. Payon? Is everything okay? How long? I... How long do you think you can jerk me around like this? Is this what it means to have a name? Is this what it costs? I'm sick of it! Hey, whoa! Pia! Why are you being so mean? It's okay, Pan. <laughs> oh, Pan. It's your fate to love that child, you know. Whether you want to or not. No matter what they do, you're always there for them, and you never even think to ask why. You remember everything, don't you? 
even the things we've all forgotten. Payon! Listen, you know me better than I do. I'm still trying to piece together who I am. Who I was. But I know enough to say, I'm sorry. I wasn't always a good person. Whatever I did to you... All I can say for myself is that I'm not that person anymore. And... I know this is asking a lot. But if you can accept me as the person I am now... No. Go away. Exactly. I need to awaken as the forest child. And for that, well, you know, I need you. <sighs> Lead the way. <sighs> Thank you so much. You won't regret it. you're awake. But why do you keep getting smaller? You want to name me after the god of healing? <laughs> That's laying it on a bit thick, don't you? No, not at all. <laughs> it suits you. But you are the healer, not me. I heal people on the outside. What you do, you do for the heart. She's right, you know. Not the name I'd give a wandering wolf, but I'll take it. <sighs> if it weren't for all of you, I'd still be a blacksmith's daughter. No, no. You're the one who made the light shine. You woke us all up. Oh, you're too kind, Pan. And Pan, keep protecting the tree so we can keep on living new lives together. I don't know what path I'll take, or where it's going to lead. But you'll all be on it. Someday, I'll get to meet you and make friends with you all over again. And I wouldn't trade... Hmm. They say the Forest Master's antlers are worth a fortune. If you grind them up into powder, they make amazing elixirs. Not just amazing, godly. No wonder she's hiding so deep in the woods. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you, Forest Master. You just made me the richest merchant in the Zhongwu realm. <laughs> And you, our business is over. Shut up! Animals aren't even supposed to talk! Lynn! Are you okay? Lynn? Thank you.
Now is the time when the shadow of doubt falls over the forest, eternal silence will come.
I'm sorry for stepping off the path. For li- Everything that's happened. It's all my fault. If I'd known. I should have been so much kinder. <coughs> For all the healing I've done. Easy child. Breathe. <laughs> Being stuck with some boring old backwoods healer. <laughs> I didn't amount to much, did I? Don't talk like that. You led a wonderful life. No one could ever disrespect it. Especially not you. <laughs> Gaia. Let me ask you something. Of course. Gaia. Gaia? Child, please. Call my name again. Gaia! Yes. I'm so sorry I'm late. No need to apologize. I'm... That's right. Your name was Gaia. Pan. What? What's going on? I, I called your name. Why are you still fading? I is it because of that curse? No! Kaya! Don't fall asleep! Open your eyes, please! I've known so many other versions of you. Some I miss, some not so much. But I shouldn't have judged you because of them. Whoever you are now, you're still our forest, child. What are you saying? I'm saying someone has to do this. Do what? Payon, what? Oh no. Payon, no! Stop! Don't give me that look. I'm just giving her back what I owe. Oh, don't worry. This body was never going to last forever. I'm just moving up the schedule. That's all. You always called me a healer. You saw something I didn't see in myself. And this is it. Stay back! Hang on! Stop! Will everybody just shut up and let me do this? I'm giving what I have to give. For the forest. For you. Huh. 
So you better remember this. One more thing. When she wakes up, tell her I was sorry. I'll tell her. And I will protect this forest with everything I have. Huh. Wait, what? I felt it before. It's the power I used to search for. Will you look for me in my next life and the life after that? Of course, child. If I can't find you myself, the spirit guides will. <laughs> You'll always be my... the forest's child. I'm glad I could be that for you. So many years you've lingered on, and still so unenlightened. <laughs> Truth comes to the forest now, in all its darkness. And nothing can hold it back. This was never meant to last.
Oh, child, I have so many memories of you. Like the moment we first met. Your eyes were shining like stars, bright enough to light the forest on the darkest night. And your will, your spirit, it was all so radiant. The forest thrived because the trees and the creatures all knew they were safe in your hands. I knew your first body would wear out eventually. And I knew it could be a long wait before I saw you again. But I don't regret a moment of it. You were born into many different times and made many different choices. But I don't blame you for any of them. If not for you, everything I am would have stayed stagnant and the forest would have suffered for it. But now, here we are. This moment of fate. And that is enough. I can't let this happen. Lynn. There's got to be something I can do. Isn't there some power or... You have all the power you need. But this is nature and destiny. Samsara itself has passed on from us. I'm sorry. Don't be. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of living forever. I could use the... <laughs> let's call it a vacation. Penny. Sky Guardian. With all the time you have, fly free and see the world from its greatest height. You got, you got it. it. Oh, my, my brave, brave spirit, guys. Hey, don't get sentimental on us. Hey, life guardian. You, you asked me once how I would call you that when you had so much blood on your fans. Do you remember? I didn't have an answer at the time. Now I understand. You stop aggression to protect the innocent. You are a guardian through and through. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 